Hi Scorpio, welcome to your August 1st through the 15th tarot reading. We're going down into Wonderland today, down the rabbit hole. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, so let's get started, but before we do, I just want to let you know that I have several options for private readings right now. I have on sale 40 minutes for $20. It's on my website. If you go to the description box, it'll show you how to get that. Also, I'm going to be doing VMO, uh, where you can do pay-per-views, and I'm going to be doing Scorpio couples, Scorpio singles, and Scorpio career. So if something in the general reading you just want more information on, you can do a VMO pay-per-view, and it's only $4.99. And I should have this up by the 1st of August. Um, so if you're watching this early, they're probably not up yet. But um, by the 1st of August, I should have those up. And so thank you so much, Scorpio. Let's, let's get started with your reading. So what is the central theme of Scorpio's reading today? What is the central theme of Scorpio's reading today? Surrender. There's changes. There's a metamorphosis. It's beautiful, and you need to just surrender to it. You need to quit resisting the changes that need to happen. All right, we're using three decks today. We're using the Vintage Oracle, we're using Tarot and Wonderland, and we're using Wonderland Tarot and Attend. All right, so internally I see that there's the Two of Wands. Um, there's decisions about movement, decisions about act, actions that you should take. Should I stay? Should I go? You're just sitting there and you're in the planning stage and you're just deciding what your next move is going to be. There's a lot of ambition there, a lot of energy and enthusiasm. What else is going on in Scorpio's internal world? All right, so I have the two of swords in the reverse. We have a lot of twos, and twos are all about choices. Uh, being at a crossroads, there's a waiting period. So we have the two of swords in the reverse. There's confusion, information overload, indecision. One more card. And then I have the nine of swords in the reverse. Just don't sweat the small stuff and get perspective. There's a lot of ambition, a lot of painful lessons, a lot of communication, and a lot of choices internally. So you have a lot, a lot going on inside of your head. Why is the Two of Wands here? Alright, so I have the star reversed. So when the star reverses, it's a loss of faith, fearing in tomorrow, lacking hope, afraid of what people are going to think of you, hiding your creative gifts. Um, it's a need for vacation. It's the card of Aquarius. Why is the Two of Swords here? Alright, so I have the Two of Pepper Mills. So we have almost, the only element that we're missing is your element, water. So we have the Two of Pepper Mills, and the Two of Pepper Mills is decisions about movement. Um, difficult choices, painful lessons. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Alright, the Knight of Oysters. So, the Knight of Oysters is a very slow moving knight. Um, he breathes life into new plants. He makes things happen. He's very ambitious, hard working. Um, he takes responsibility. He sees things through to completion. He builds an empire. He never takes foolish risks. He's not a gambler. And he goes slow and steady like the tortoise. Alright, so what's going on in Scorpio's family and home life? Three cards for Scorpio's family and home life, please. Three cards for Scorpio's family and home life. Okay, so I have the world. 
the lovers reversed. One more card. One more card, please. The seven of cups. Okay, so the world is the kindergartner who went to school, went 12 years, and now they're graduating. This is coming full circle. This is a completion. This is completing a cycle. This is success. This is people cheering you on. This is perfection. This is attainment. This is recognition. When the lover reverses, communication also breaks down. This is the card of Gemini. This is sending the wrong message, infidelity, using sex as a weapon. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Jealousy, possessiveness, divorce, separation, low self-esteem, lack of self-love, disagreements. Um, I wouldn't like, change anything at this particular time with the lovers reversed. All right, and then we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is trying to find meaning in life, soul searching, having multiple choices, daydreaming, um, being out of touch with reality. And that's actually your energy, that's Scorpio energy. So why is the world here? All right, so the seven of flamingos. The world's there because of the seven of flamingos. There's betrayal, deceit, lies, theft. You need to be careful who you trust. There's mind games here. Why is the lovers reversed here? All right, so I have the nine of hats. So this is um, the wish card, wishes fulfilled, hosting, showing off. Why is the seven of cups here? Because we have the four of oysters. This is financial stability, um, instability. This is financial instability. This is greed, materialism. What's going on with Scorpio's money? Three cards for Scorpio's money, please. Right. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Eight of Swords reversed. Hmm. So this is very contrary wise. The Ten of Cups is complete and total emotional harmony. This is a completion of a cycle. So we have a lot of completions here. We have the world. We have the Ten of Cups. We have um, several nines. Eight, seven, eight, nine. Um, so I'm not seeing new beginnings. I'm seeing things coming full circle to an end. Um, so this is joy, happiness, marriage, the fairy tale, domestic bliss. An emotionally successful outcome, but then we have the ten of uh, pentacles. Yeah, the ten of pentacles in reverse, which is complete and total financial failure. So it's like you're emotionally happy with your family, but your finances are a complete and total disaster. And then we have the eight of swords in the reverse. So there's a way out. And that's self-acceptance. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Fool. <laughs> it's because of the Fool. Um, a new phase, a fresh start, spontaneity, trust, faith, self-belief, pursuing a dream. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Mm -hmm. 
the harem font in reverse. Breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules, changing religions, a new belief system, a system, an unconventional relationship, um, dropping out of school, being extremely judgmental and hypocritical. Why is the Eight of Swords here? So we have the Six of Flamingos. Moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from a bad situation, escaping an abusive situation, uh, returning to life after trauma. It's a rite of passage, regretful but necessary transition. Right, in the past, I see you setting out on a new adventure. You're very hopeful, uh, but a little bit afraid. I see that things came full circle. You graduated. You obtained what you were looking for, and you got this happy, stable family. Everything was new and fresh. And then presently, there's some painful decisions, some choices, and you're confused. And this happy family has since shifted, and there's a lot of disagreements currently. And uh, there's emotional outbursts, and it's not as happy as it once was. And your finances are suffering because of it, and it's very untraditional. I see some sleepless nights. Um, you know, really worrying about this, being in your head, fearing tomorrow, but, you know, not sweating the small stuff and really getting perspective and taking things slow. And, um, seeing that this may have not been the best investment, um, There's the dark night of the soul, taking time to self-reflect. Self and protecting yourself, protecting yourself. There is freedom, the freedom is self-acceptance. This is a necessary but regretful transition in your life. Three advice cards for Scorpio, please. Three advice cards for Scorpio, please. All right. Ooh. All right, two more. So I just like the graphic on that one. That's why I ooed. It's because it's a really cute one. I'm glad it came out. It's the doormouth. One more. So we have the Four of Pentacles, and this is teamwork. This is building. We have the King of Cups, and he is in full control of his emotion. He's deep wisdom. He's calm. He's caring. He's sensitive. He's a guru, a teacher, a psychiatrist, a counselor. And then we have the Nine of Wands. And he's in the reverse. So this is, again, getting perspective. Because it came out down here. So we have the Nine of Wands twice. Nines are all about conclusion. Wisdom. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Right, it's because of the um, seven of pepper mills in the reverse. So you're feeling overwhelmed. So there's teamwork because you're feeling overwhelmed. Why is the king of cups here? The sun. 
So the King of Cups is here because the sun has risen and there's a new day. He sheds light. Um, he's happiness, he's success, he's achievements. The dark days are over. He's creativity. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's before his fall. When he was happy. <laughs> right, so the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The moon. So this is Cancer or Pisces energy. It's fantasy and illusion. Uh, we have the walrus and the carpenter and the little oysters. And the walrus and the carpenter are like, come little oysters. We'll have school. We'll have fun. And the oysters are like, ooh, yay. And they're manipulating them. And then they eat them. The walrus and the carpenter eats every single one of these little tiny baby oysters. It's manipulation. It's secrets. It's sorting things out for yourself. Sleeping on it. Not everything is as it seems. Mood swings. Lies. Deceit. Scorpio's Romantic and Social Life. Three cards for Scorpio's Romantic and Social Life, please. Three cards for Scorpio's Romantic and Social Life, please. Boom. Two more. Boom. Ooh. Looks very tumultuous. There's one more. A lot of dark cards here. Oh, my Humpty Dumpty came back out again. Alright, so we have the Six of Swords. So there's a necessary but regretful transition. Um, distancing yourself from a bad situation, an abusive situation, escaping an abusive situation, moving away from conflict, returning to life after trauma. The Four of Cups in the reverse. Breaks in communication. Again, we have this transition. And then we have the King of Swords. So, he comes up with a well thought out plan. Um, honesty is the best policy. He's a clear, effective communicator. He's intellectual, he's fair, he's just. He never lets feelings get in the way. He listens to both sides of an argument. He clearly defines his position. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? So I have the five of hats in the reverse. So this is moving on, forgiving. So the movement is you're moving on from the past and you're forgiving. Why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? Again, completions with the world coming full circle. You came full circle. Lasting success, attainment. So it's good. You're still looking at the past, but you came full circle. Why is the King of Swords here? The chariot came out again. Another Cancer card. There's something with a, a cancer person here. 
Um, or it could just be someone who's very manipulative and moody and very overly emotional. But we have the chariot, and this is gaining control over opposing forces, control over emotion, um, hiding your emotions behind a mask, self-control, self-discipline. Scorpio's career. Look, three cards for Scorpio's career, please. Three cards for Scorpio's career. Okay. Two cards for Scorpio's career, please. Well, you're dealing with a tyrant. We have the Page of Pentacles. This is a um, manifestation of a new financial opportunity. Thinking long term, getting things off to a good start, scrutinizing documents. The Five of Swords, conflict, tension, betrayal, win at all costs, abuse, smugness, gloating, physical attacks, a no win situation. Could be with an Aquarius. And then we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, the Knight of Cups in the reverse is a seducer, a heartbreaker, a womanizer. It is a card of narcissism. Um, dealing with narcissistic people at work. People who only care about themselves. People who lie and manipulate to get on top. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? All right, so I have the four of hats in the reverse. So this is a missed opportunity. Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? All right, the two of... Um, the two of oysters. So there's major conflict here. Major conflict with whoever this person is. Um, whoever's like off with her head. The bloody red queen. You're juggling things. You're juggling decisions. Juggling finances. Deciding between two people here. And they're fighting. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Because of the Four of Pepper Mills. And there's controversy here too. And the Four of Pe Pepper Mills are in the reverse. So this is being burnt out. There's a lack of progress here. Any other advice for Scorpio? Any other advice for Scorpio? Start documenting your dreams. They're telling you something. That's how your intuition is coming towards you. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, again, if you'd like a personal reading, they are $20 until the end of summer um, for 40 minutes. And then I, I'm going to be having the $4.99 um pay-per-views on vmo as soon as i get those made and uploaded so stay tuned for those have a wonderful day scorpio thank you for joining me